thanks to the hard work of interns and contributors, GNOME announces version 3.18. In this release, GNOME improves the general user experience for users and new developers alike. If your computer has a light sensor, GNOME can now use it to automatically adjust the brightness of your screen. The touchscreen experience has also improved when selecting and modifying text. Files has received a lot of attention this cycle. There's a new view in the sidebar, so remote and internal locations are collected in one place for your convenience. Progress is now shown in the header bar when files are being copied. There are many other improvements, including a more polished search function, Google Drive integration, and better file management. Software has become the first to support updating device firmware through the new Linux Vendor Firmware Service. The service allows vendors to submit firmware, and GNOME software will allow you to install it with the click of a button. Furthermore, the GNOME community has improved a large variety of apps, including Calendar, which now comes with a management dialog to help you manage your calendars, Polari, with a better initial user experience, GNOME Documents, which is sporting a revamped user interface for organizing your documents, and Events, which annotation and video support has improved. GNOME 3.18 comes with a preview of GNOME To Do, a personal task manager helping you keep track of the tasks ahead of time. GNOME's development tools have also improved this cycle. Builder, for example, now has a source code minimap, a shortcut overview, and auto-completion for Python. The human interface guidelines have been restructured and include new usage patterns. GNOME Logs user interface now gives a better overview and can show you logs from the last five boots. Boxes has improved its interface with a new list view for users with a lot of virtual machines. Finally, GTK has received new typographic features. The new GNOME release is available for you as a live image to try now. Many distributions will also ship GNOME 3.18 in the near future. GNOME is a friendly community making free software for everyone. Excited? Join us in making GNOME the perfect desktop environment 